All right, this is my Monopoly program. Um, it should help a player decide whether he or she can place a hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, it should provide the player with enough information to know of the number of houses that they need to place on each property. And also check whether he or she has enough money to purchase the houses. And if they do, it will let them know how much money it will cost. Um, so the first test case is do not have enough property. So the first question is do you have all the property? And the answer to that is no. So it says you cannot purchase a hotel. Do you own all the property? Cool. That first test case pass. The next test case is being poor. So do you own all the properties? Yes. Um, is there anything in Pacific? No. Um, anything on um, North Carolina, zero. Anything on um, Pacific, zero. How many hotels are there to purchase? 10. How many cash do you have? $100. And you do not have sufficient fund because it costs $2,600 to build those houses and hotels and you only have $1,100. So don't have money. Next test case, what with Pacific? So do you own all properties? Yes. How many houses on Pennsylvania Avenue? Should have four. In Carolina, uh, four. And Pacific should have a hotel, so it means five. So say swap hotel with Pennsylvania has four houses. So great. So that's the end of the third test case. Uh, four test case. Um, all the properties, yes. Pennsylvania Avenue should have four. North Carolina should also have a house. So that means five. And you swap houses. You swap your hotel with Pennsylvania's four houses. Great. Um, next test case. Um, so yes. Should have um, five houses and you cannot purchase because you already have one. So great. So let's go to let's go to the next test case. Um we had already built all at once. Uh, do you own all the properties? Yes. Um, zero houses on Pennsylvania, zero houses on North Carolina, zero houses on specific. Tells to purchase should be three. Which money you have to spend? Three thousand dollars. Three houses, twelve. And that's it. Passes that case. You purchase one hotel, 12 houses. Four houses in North Carolina, four houses in the Pacific. And yeah. So let's do the next test case, which is the last one. Do you have all properties? Yes. Uh, three houses on that guy, three houses on North Carolina, three houses in the Pacific. He holds uh, tells to purchase one. You have to spend five thousand. Any houses are there to purchase three? That will cost you eight hundred dollars. So purchase one hotel, three houses, put one hotel in Pennsylvania, return any house to the bank, one house in North Carolina, one in Pacific, and that's the end of the test cases. So yeah, that's the program. That is what it does. This is to demonstrate um, decisions in Python using if and else statements.